this video, I'm going to illustrate how you can create a query in Google Sheets that is controlled by checkbox criteria. Now, I've covered this subject before in previous videos, and I've had a decent amount of questions, and I have found a new method that is hopefully a little easier to set up. I do admit that in some of the previous videos, it was quite an ordeal to set this up to make it work properly. So I believe I've found an easier solution to go about this. So to give you a preview of what we're going to do today, I have a finished product here. I have a query on this tab that begins on row seven and it is controlled by the checkboxes here. You can see if I unselect some of these boxes and filter based on this branch location here, it only reflects the main office. And this query is run off of our loan detail on this first tab, the data, the raw data. So the first thing I want to do is add a new sheet where our new query will live. And I want to copy the unique branch values back on our first tab and paste them up top here on our new tab. To the right, I'm going to select the range of cells and go up to the data ribbon and under data validation, under criteria, I'm going to select this last option here for checkbox and hit save. The next thing I want to do is add our query statement. So the first input is our raw data back on the first tab, the data we want to query off of. So I'm going to go to the first tab, select cell A1, I'm going to hit control shift right arrow and then control shift down arrow. I'm going to hit F4 to lock that down. The next input is our query select statement. So that needs to be enclosed in double quotes and begins with the keyword select. For now, I want to select everything in our data set. So I'm just going to say select star and close it out with a double quote. Final input is the number of row headers we have in our data set. That is one. So I'll hit enter and back on our new tab, we have our query results. So now what I want to do is link our query to the criteria up top here. So one thing I want to point out before we get into this is we inserted these checkboxes. And if you double click on any of these checkboxes, currently it has a value of false for any unchecked. If I check it and double click on it again, it reflects a value of true. So what we're actually going to do is insert an if function to the right of our checkbox. The first input of the if is the logical test. So we want to see if the cell to the left equals true, then we want to pull the value to the left of that cell, the branch location. If it is false or unchecked, then we want to pull in nothing. So right now, all these checkboxes are selected, so it pulls in the branch location. If I unselect it, the cell is empty. So what we're going to do is actually link our query criteria to the output of the if function in these cells here. So I'm going to hit F2 to go back into our query. I'm going to insert a where condition and our criteria column is the branch location column. So that's column B. And since we have a list of criteria, what we're going to do is insert the matches keyword because that will return matches of any items in a list. Now we have a list of text. So our criteria needs to be enclosed in single quotes in the select statement. So the first thing I'm going to add is a single quote. We need to join this select statement to the cell values here. So I'm going to come outside of this double quote and use the and symbol to concatenate the select statement to our first cell reference criteria. So I'm going to use another and symbol to come back into our select statement because when we use the matches keyword for a list of items, they have to be separated by a vertical bar. 
So we need to come back into our select statement with a double quote and insert a vertical bar. After that, I can use another AND symbol to concatenate it to our second criteria item. To make this a little easier though, what I'm gonna do is select this section here and hit copy and select our next cell reference and then paste and repeat. So we're at our last item in our list of criteria for the matches keyword. So now what we wanna do is insert a final and to link that last cell reference back to our select statement. Gonna go back into the select statement with a double quote and end it with a single quote for the back end of our text criteria. You can see there's our opening single quote that is our closing single quote. And we need to close the select statement out completely with a final double quote. So you can see right now our query did not change. The results look the same and they should because we have all of these checkboxes selected. So we're still selecting everything. But if I start to unselect these items, you can see now our query is controlled by these checkbox criteria. Now, you may want to hide this section here because it looks redundant. Um, the same data is displayed twice. So what I would recommend is changing the text font color to hide these to white and also protecting these cells so that they don't accidentally get typed over because as you remember, that is what drives our query criteria. So it's very important that these cells don't get deleted accidentally. So I'm gonna change the text to white, but right after that, I'm gonna go up to tools and select protect sheet. Now I only want to protect the selected range here. So I'm gonna select the option for range, maybe enter a description like don't delete and then click set permissions. Now you have two options. You can restrict who can edit that range of cells or you can just show a warning. And the warning will show up if you try and type over uh, one of these cells here. So I'm just gonna select the warning. So now if I go into it and try and type over, maybe I'll just type a letter and hit enter, you can see you get a warning message. So as you're trying to edit part of the sheet that shouldn't be changed accidentally, edit anyway. Uh, you can select OK to keep the changes you made or cancel. So that is how you can create a query that is controlled by checkbox criteria. Hey, if you like what you saw today, please subscribe to the Excel Cave. Thanks for watching.